I made a fake one. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy D Bros, Dan Brosnan in the building. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let's get right into it. We're going to be talking about Jackass 4. What is going on with it? We did a video almost a year ago when we found out it was it was dropping. Well, now it has been postponed twice due to the coronavirus and the official date as of now is September 3rd and man has there been a lot of craziness through this whole process man um one shout out Bam Margera I met dude a couple years ago super cool guy like for real but he's he's going through some stuff and it we have a long journey through Jackass 4 uh, we're going to show you clips, all different crazy things of this. Uh, it, it's, it's, a little, uh, it, it's a little graphic in content of words and stuff like that. I mean, there's, no, there's nothing too crazy uh, you're, to look at, but the content uh, words-wise, what they're saying, there are some curse words and stuff. Um, but let's get into it. We have Bam Margera. Johnny Knoxville talking. We got some interviews, some things we put together. What's going on with my man Bam? Now, in this, I so I met dude like a month before his Dr. Phil show came out. It was really weird. I didn't even know he was on gonna be on Dr. Phil. And when it aired, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And they talked about how basically for Jackass. He started to become an alcoholic because when he was a skateboarder, he couldn't really get drunk and skate. It's kind of hard. It's hard to land tricks when you can't walk straight, you know, and you don't have balance. Well, in, in Jackass, that was the show where they just did a bunch of crazy stunts. And so he he said I like he would kind of get freaked out being lost in the air doing crazy stuff he'd just take a couple shots of tequila and he was good to go he'd barely even feel it you know and it was those kind of things that helped feed the addiction and bam never conquered it man it, it's it's tough and this isn't a bam diss but there this whole past year you're gonna see a lot of crazy things Bam is back on the drugs. Johnny Knoxville is sober and he's trying to get this movie under control. Bam's super upset. He's saying that that the people at Paramount were feeding him pills to keep him right and he was losing it. Like, there's a lot of stuff to cover here. So let's get into some clips. Jackass 4, is it happening? Is it fully happening? Have you guys already filmed a bunch of stuff? We were one week into production oh. when... Uh... When, when shit got shut down. You know, when, when the world starts spinning again, we're as big of a priority for Paramount Pictures as uh, as there is. It was the second day of filming Jackass already and Steve-O and Knoxville were hospitalized by jumping on a uh, full speed treadmill with band equipment, like a fucking tuba. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm here at the clinic now taking a piss test. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's got some scars too. Yeah, man. And then we're doing the jackass fucking uh, new one in October, and I get a million dollars, which is fucking awesome. But I don't feel like filming it because it's it's this one's gonna be so nerve wracking because they know I'm terrified of snakes, and I know at some point in five months rock span, I'm gonna get thrown covered in snakes, and I'm probably gonna lose it. So I got my balance back and I could skate again because I've been off all the antidepressant medication I've been on all of 2020. Well, Butrin, Lexapro, Bipropion, Lithium, Propanolol, Klonopin, Latuda, Restorol, Librium, Gabapentin, Abilify, Zoloft, Vivitrol, Zyprexa, Seroquel, and Contrave, which may cause hair loss, liver and kidney dysfunction, fatigue, dizziness, dry mouth, drowsiness, trouble sleeping, nausea, shortness of breath, muscle cramps, aches, weight gain, and suicidal tendencies. What the fuck? That is crazy. Up your butt with a coconut to all the doctors and to all the Western medicine <laughs> to cure a skateboarder's depression, anxiety, and manic bipolar is skateboarding. I don't need that shit. And what's rad 
is when I seen you for the first time from Pennsylvania. This is the happiest, the healthiest you've looked, and you didn't want to skate before. And now I seen footage of him ripping at some mini ramp, and then we got to skate how, yesterday. How could so I sick. skate when you're basically like all over the place? Ow, muscle cramp. Oh, dizziness. Oh, shortness of breath. Yeah. All the above. How could antidepressant medication work? And then weight gaining is well. Like, I'm top heavy. I'm a fucking sweaty meatball on a mini ramp that I don't want to be seen by any pro skaters or old friends. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been waking up early, hiking with the family, jamming around everywhere. Like, he woke me up this morning. Pain that I'm going through with jackass putting me through the ringer, dude. If anybody cares about me at all, then throw me a fucking bone and send a dollar to this Venmo and the more you send, the ratter shit we can do. And I give everyone fucking credit for it. Like, I can't compete with their $10 million budget, ladies and gentlemen, but if I had that, I would blow them out of the fucking water. Give me a new mission. I was so bored at home. I was living in Groundhog's Day. It sucked. And, uh, yeah, Nikki found me on the interweb typing in how to tie a noose. That's why we moved to Oceanside and I met new friends that I love. Jackass does not care about me. Understand that, ladies and gentlemen. Not so does give a fuck about me. Spike Jones does not give a fuck about me. And Tremaine, I still don't know yet. Steve-O, I love him. Pontius, yes, we men, fuck yeah, poopies is awesome. <laughs> Fucking Dave England is awesome. Danger Aaron is awesome. Preston, awesome. <sighs> Everybody, what the fuck? It's like, it was like my family that won't let me in because they say I'm out there being a jackass on TMZ. Well, so I can't be in jackass because I'm out there being a jackass? I can't be on jackass because I'm out there being a, ja a jackass. And at this point, I'm thinking, <laughs> dude, all press is good press is what I thought, which I guess obviously is not true because I thought unless you're a murderer or a rape artist, then that's bad. Anything else is good. If I wind up getting beat up drunk at a bar, fucking hell to the yeah, I had a blast. You know, like, I love that shit. I live for that shit. Fucking, if everybody loved everybody and everything was so boring, it would just be so boring. You need an asshole or else there's nothing to talk about. There has to be an asshole or else there's nothing to talk about. Who's an asshole? fucking Novak. He's a liar. <laughs> I was a pro skater millionaire who lost it all to heroin. You were never even a $10,000 heir. You were never pro. <laughs> you were an amateur. Bucky Lisa gave you some skateboards. Tony Hawk, nothing to do with it. <sighs> Gatorade with Mike fucking, what's his name? Jordan? You weren't there. New York Times bestselling author? I get 30% of that book. It's only sold on Amazon. And it just goes on and on. He's a white liar. He tells white lies and he makes his way to the top of fucking Good Morning America with this fucking bullshit. He can't even follow the first step of AA, which is honesty. So how does he follow the steps? <laughs> if anybody cares about me at all, then let's beat them at their own fucking game yellow wolf let's beat them at their own game mgk let's beat them at their own game post malone let's beat them at their own fucking game hank von helvete turbo negro even him i haven't talked to villa Valo in a long time but hell man give me a call for fuck sake johnny football randy Maya, Mana, Sounds, Rakes. I can go on and on and on, and I will. 
thank God I moved here because I found happiness again. And I'm skating again because I'm off the pills that Paramount made me take on film every morning, causing me to be dizzy as fuck with stiff muscles and suicidal tendencies. Were they just trying to keep me at bay? What were they doing? Who do they think that they are? Boycott jackass. Duh. If you care about me, you would just boycott jackass. And then I'll just be back 100%. And then we'll do this together. Send me a dollar. A dollar goes a long way if everybody fucking does it. It's pretty simple. Fuck it. Send me fucking... I, how many followers do I have? If... If all you guys send me a hundred dollars, dude, I can do this. I can fucking do it. Let me do it. The more money you send, the ratter shit that can happen. Help me out. Throw me a bone for the love of Phoenix, the goddamn wolf. A lot of people say that if you're really brilliant, then you're like fucked in the head on other situations. He'll look at the jackass situation and be like, why would I use up my funniness when Jeff Tremaine's just gonna buy a big mansion in the Hollywood Hills? And it's like, that's true, it's gonna happen, but he's gonna get that whether you're in it or not. All you can do is make this movie more funny. It's almost like cutting off your nose to spite your face, like that's what you're doing. He doesn't think that way. I was never good at following rules and and I never go with any fucking flow. I make the flow. I just forgot it for 10 years or else I didn't care. I was too busy fucking doing nothing. I'm back now. Thanks to Beaver. Thanks to Jeff Rowley. Thanks to Bucky Lasik. Thanks to Omar Hassan. Thanks to Christian Hassoy. Thanks to Steve Cavallaro. Thanks to Lance Mountain. Thanks to fucking Matt Hensley. Thanks to Sal Barbier. Thanks to Tom Bull, but he's dead. No, I'm just trailing off. I don't care if I trail off. I just say what I want right now. I don't have to worry anymore. I just say what I want. So, Venmo, yes. I have a great idea. We build a fucking mini ramp that Dave Duncan builds with Seth Meisterman. Danny Way is a helicopter pilot. We put it up in the fucking air and have a skate contest to see who has the best, who's the best skater in the world. And then what they win is the car that Novak owes me, which is a S55 fucking Mercedes AMG murdered out with black rims. Who wouldn't want that car? I don't want it. It's just a bad memory of a fucking asshole. He was my life partner, but once he got rich, claiming to be fucking... He's definitely sober, but I mean, hey, hey, you can't even follow the first step, so. And I love homos, but he's a fucking gay wad. So was lying. Uh, who else do I hate? I don't hate anybody except we get hell. And I love homos. Who else do I hate? I hate John Rifkin. He ripped me off. I learned to love Todd Swank. Send me that money, Cresta. If you want, if you ever want to be friends with me again, I expect it in Venmo, okay? If everybody helps, then I'll just fucking continue to go to church with Beaver, stay sober at Sheckler's meetings, visit Steve-O, and fucking... That's why I moved here. I had to get the fuck out of Pennsylvania. You found happiness again, but today... I had a hiccup with a bottle of red wine and seven beers. Or 17, I don't know. Cronenberg, 1664, over and out. So, Bam obviously has had his fights. We've right. seen we've seen it recently. You know, we see Bam after Ryan Dunn passed. You know, you right. guys, good friend Ryan. It seemed like that had a monumental effect on Bam and his personality. Not it's saying scary that... scary <laughs> and sad, to be honest. Well, right yeah. now, it's like uh, some people ask, because Knoxville... You know, 
organized an intervention and locked me up in a psychiatric ward. And I kind of, you know, got enough clarity in there to realize, wow, I need help. And and I went from the psych ward to rehab, and I've been sober ever since. Um, that's kind of fortunate for me that because you can't make someone else decide. So I've had people ask me, "Do you uh, have you tried to get through to BAM?" You know, and the truth is. You can't you force people into it. I have an analogy for recovery, and and I, I, I'm kind of proud I came up with this one, <laughs> right? It's like uh, committing to recovery. It's like getting in a swimming pool. Now, if you go up to a swimming pool and you dip your toe into it, the water feels cold, you know? Like if you dip sure. your toe in, it feels cold, and, and if you think you're gonna go and walk in gradually to, a, to the swimming pool, you know, you're probably just not because you're going to take like a couple steps in. It's going to get to your ankles. And you're going to be like, okay, this is cold. I'm out of here. Right, right. The way to get into that pool, just like the way to get into recovery, is just to commit and fully jump in. Now, like the truth is, like with Bam, and he's what he's worried about is like, oh, but it's, but uh, but it's not going to be fun. If I get sober, it's going to be boring. Like I'm not going to have fun. I want to have fun. I'm sure. Like like really diving into recovery, it shocks your system. You know, I'm not going to pretend that that it doesn't. But the fact about it is is that if you're motivated to it, if you really commit to it, and if you just jump into that pool, if you just start paddling around, it's incredible how how quickly, when you're in the water, you think to yourself, wow, you know, like, turns out this really isn't that cold. How fast you acclimate to yes. it. You know, when you're in that Absolutely. swimming pool, when you're in that swimming pool, you think, man, I can't believe I just thought this was cold, like, just a, a couple minutes ago, and now I'm perfectly comfortable in here. You just can't go around pushing people into pools and expecting them to stay in. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I've never tried to, I've never tried to push Bam in. All I can really. Did Johnny and push you in the pool? He, he did. Yeah. He did. And, and, uh, and I, I recognized my need to be in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you find it difficult? Can you still be Bam's friend knowing that he still uses whatever? It could be just drinking alcohol. Sure. Can you still be around him yeah. while that's happening? You And you don't have any problem with that? And there's no weird kind of odd invisible barrier I, there, I, Steve? I think it's been weird for him. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like... He, he's certainly dodged me and not responded to calls and stuff, even though I wasn't trying to pre right, right. preach to but him. But he's going to assume that. Yeah, I mean, with, when you're getting loaded, the last thing you want to do is hang out with sober people. Oh, I, yeah. know. <laughs> I know oh, I yeah. don't. Ben, my name is Knoxville Tremaine. Yeah, well, what do you want? We want to make sure you're okay. Well, you make me not okay. Well, why not? Because I want to be in jackass that we've been waiting for 10 years to make you fucking assholes well we want to make sure about your health fuck you you fucking <laughs> spike jones i love you and my wife could see your eyes that you just don't know what's going on it's tremaine and knoxville they're poison cocksuckers and they just are <laughs> and they just are and you can't argue with that spike they're just fucking greedy, fucking poison cock suckers. It's not about the movie. Yes, it is. It's about Phoenix the fucking wolf and you taking everything away from him. You fucking. F I'm okay. I am. Because I've been fucked up the ass so hard by you two fucking. And uh, hearing about, about Deco. Brandon DiCamillo. Yeah, and I think I think that he it's was a, a principal cast member throughout. Uh, he was a major one of the main, fucking player. Yeah. You know, he was a major player throughout the TV series, and he just decided not to be in the first movie. Which, uh, as I understood it, his uh, rationale was, I don't want to make a bunch of money for greedy corporate assholes, and that just like I didn't understand that at all because I was like, wow, you know, Brandon. Why don't, like, like you're talking about you're going to make no money for anybody. I was like, I'm going to make as much money for these greedy assholes as I possibly can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, uh, so that, you know, like it's paying your dues. That's what I wanted to do. Who the fuck cares if I'm drunk as hell or not anymore? Jackass has put me through fucking hell on fucking wheels for a year and a half keeping me in Pennsylvania. I couldn't leave if I left or else I had to breathe in the sobriety link at three o'clock every day, six o'clock, eight o'clock. Then a random beep would go off. No matter where I was at, I had to fucking stop whatever I was doing and go to an urgent care to go piss. 
then I'd wake up every day with a handful of antidepressant pills that I would have to show Paramount Pictures that I took them and swallowed them every single day. <laughs> Steve-O has been sober as fuck since, since 10 years. If he had a breath light, like he's gonna go camping one day and not have any internet reception. He's gonna sleep through one or two. He's got like people, they set me up with such a fucking hard mission that, and then COVID happened for a year against anyone's knowledge. Like, so now I just spend $90,000 in a rehab for 90 days at my expense. <clears throat> I had to go to 30 days in Florida for a rehab at my expense. I had to pay for therapists that they recommended at their expense, but I had to pay for it. I have, <clears throat> I wrote them so many ideas and if I'm not in the movie and they use my ideas, how do you think that that'll make me feel? The last thing I want to do is be in a courtroom with Jeff fucking Tremaine. I love him. What the fuck, man? I'm not in Jackass 4. If anybody cares about me, don't go see their movie because I will make mine way fucking ratter if you just Venmo me a dollar. <laughs> just a buck. If you send a hundred bucks, I'll remember your name and write it down and straggle it. You send more than that and I'll do more, but ten pound is some fucking <clears throat> Jackass was everything to me. And that is now I'm so relieved to get <laughs> Fuck you, Dogs fell. Fuck you, Spike. Fuck you, Jeff. You fuckers never cared about me, man. <laughs> no, you fucking fuckers. This time around, it's like, oh, okay, well, guys, I need to speak up for myself at this point because for the last 10, it's been 10 fucking years yeah. since the last movie. And so over the last 10 years, like, I've stayed active, you, you know, and like, one. yeah, without, like, being a dick, you know, like... I'm the only guy that fucking has, has been active, you know? Like, I've been been building momentum, I've been doing my thing. I think that it's safe to say that at this point I bring more to the table than, than the rest of the guys. That's where I was know? going with it without being offensive, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't think that that's... Uh, a dickheaded thing to say. It was like, it was an observation. And, and, the, and what's more important for me is that <clears throat> I, I, I didn't want to, like, get in there and be the one, like, fighting for it. I was like, hey, you know what, like... The last time around, I had my lawyer telling me, yo, we've got a counter. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer's like, why do you have this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, because the, the, the last time around, I was newly sober. Like, I didn't mm. know if I had it in me. Morning, everyone. And uh, I have some good news. I realized that I'm manic bipolar and... Uh, and I, yesterday, I had to go so batshit bonkers fucking crazy because of not knowing the answer for a year and a half, whether we're doing jackass or not. I had to go fucking bonkers. I had to deal with the madness to finally know the answer of now I know exactly what I want and it's going to be fucking awesome. And it's going to be in a way where everyone wins in the end. So... I love everybody and and there'll be no bad blood this way. It's gonna be fucking awesome. So I'm um, seeing a bipolar um, specialist today and uh, to get that underway. And um, other than that, we just have to find a time and place to film all this rad shit. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? 
You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.